Hey folks, my name is Loki, welcome to my channel, and this is Going Medieval Episode 9. Now there's been a massive update to Medieval um, as I record this episode. I, I don't know if I'll get around to covering those changes during this episode, because today I want to... Uh, focus on getting my trades up and running. Uh, if you remember from episode 8, I've done a lot of clearing. You can see I've got a lot of stuff down here. I've been ready to make room. I can't get rid of this bit yet because I haven't quite got enough uh, room in storage. So I'm hoping that while we start building... Uh, that um, as we build uh, I'll use materials and uh, yeah some space will open open up so let's get them building this I just wanna how many did I do one two three four five six Yeah, it's not going to quite match up with that, but that's okay. I want to be able to put a little bit of storage into each workshop. And I've just realised that I've completely fluffed up. Because uh, I wanted to make a small room for the iron smelting kiln. Not to worry. Not to worry. I will put that in the room with the blacksmith's forge and uh, hopefully that doesn't uh, take away my workshop room bonus. Alright, so let's put some down some floor here. deconstruct that because I want to be able to put my wall in and I should pop this on warp speed uh, to get things done a bit quicker all right so we're Rolling along and doing that. Let me just slide that down again for a sec. Now, as mentioned in the last uh, episode, I've been trying to concentrate on room bonuses, and I will be doing that again here. Actually, that should be wall, not floor. Right. Okay. Because the roof can only um, ten spaces is the maximum for your for your roof. So then, if we put wall in down there, and where shall we put the door? That is the question. Where is it going to be accessed the most from? I think. We put a, a pathway in here, and then we'll put the door down the down the bottom. That sounds like a plan to me. Let's get the roof on. And that's that done. Okay, time for. I uh, won't quite put on warp speed yet. Let's get in here. Now, I'm gonna do this as. Do you know what? I might put some. Um, I 
I definitely want the sewing station in here. Can't really see through that. I think that's no. There we go. Pop that down. Put that in. And I might actually put a second one in and that way I can have someone in training and then uh, let's see how much stockpile can we get in here that's a just want a normal one and that should do all right now I want this that's 25 or 5 I want this just for yeah. Material. Um, no, no, no. Textiles, that's what I'm looking for. So that's all I want going in there is textiles. And what we might also do is put clothing of anything superior or lower and oops hats the same because I basically I want my settlers wearing nothing but flawless clothing all right so we're getting that done you should probably put them there <laughs> I try and speak English pop them on warp speed all right so while they're doing that let me think about uh, maybe yeah no I'm gonna I'm gonna leave that the way it is okay so it is summer we want to be making winter clothes how many how many people have I got now I think I've got 16 so let's go for 20 and then we've got some you know some spare mm -hmm. I'll just leave it all of that at the moment. It's it's not like you can actually the only way you can get wool is through um uh, trading. So there's really not much point. Alright. Now this one I'm going to have it dismantle forever and ever and ever. Anything that is superior or less so that should keep that busy and oh I've got to put workshops in okay um, do, do, do. No. no 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 come on where am I looking for it I think it's maybe no miscellaneous. 
Ugh. Got a hard time. Pottery, church. Whoa, too tall shot. Okay. So. Bugger me. One there, one there, and room. Workshop. Must have at least. Okay. Oh, they're not being built yet. All right. So maybe once they've been built that will change but at the moment it's not registering as a workshop which is a bit annoying so warp speed here we go now research what have we got furniture you know what i say all right come on, get done furniture uh the chests yes i need those so let's unlock that I've unlocked beekeeping, but I don't know if uh, I'm going to have space for it. I'm sort of trying to plan where I may put um, the merchant stall. Deconstruct all of that. Now let me just check that tailoring. Yep, I've got two on it. All good. Okay, so comments not happy. Where is. Hang on. But I, oh, geez Louise, Loki, if your head wasn't screwed on, you just, seriously, sometimes I wonder how I manage to battle through every day, because my brain is just rush. Right, okay, we're going to make... Twenty. Edit. Da 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 da. Okay. So we got that working. Now the next thing we need. Let's see. Um. We might. Stonemasons. I might put stone, the stonemason. I really can't speak English today. The stonemason's bench and the smelting furnace together. That sounds like a plan to me. But before we do that, we're going to have my off for bricks. Gonna put a pathway in there simply to map it out a bit more. And then what we'll do here is we'll do a you know a 10 by 10 building. Hopefully, 10 by 10. And that'll be the storage for, you know, clothing and whatnot. So I'm trying to take advantage of stuff being done automatically. So, um, yeah, I'm not sure because what I've been trying to do, um, if you want them to be changing that like rather than changing each individual set to was close if you go into manage and like you know you can select okay this is a the, the apparel that they're wearing 
but if you've always already forced them to put something on, you have to drop it before they will just, you know, click over to the other other type of apparel. And the best time to, and then when you want to change apparel, the best time to do it is when they're in bed. And you just go change it over to winter, clickety clickety click all through them. And then, you know, you just got to go over the bedrooms and make the apparel, you know, usable by everyone again. Okay, now let's see. Right, now it's got its workshop. So that we're getting 144% bonus. Brilliant. Okay, so what are we going to put here? Hmm. I think what we might put here. I mean, I have these vague plans. <laughs> before I start recording an episode and then my brain just goes on the blink and uh yeah nothing's kind of happening with the brain there all right I think yeah I'm gonna do another 10 by 10 Whoops. Alright, now we're gonna have to do some deconstructing. And then again, hopefully it'll, you know, give me a bit of room for things. Because what I'm going to put here, um, I'll put the stone mace and the kiln. Oh, raid! It's a raid! That's just... <clears throat> I like to do a quick save before um, going up against the bad guys. Now let's see which direction are we coming from. Uh -huh. Alright. So I've lost them. There they are. Probably going to attack here. Alright, so let's uh, da, 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 draft, 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 draft. Okay. And then Bloody room overlay off so I can see what I'm doing. Okay, let's pop them over there. And then you guys. Yeah. 
Ah. Bloody you on save. Alright, there we go. Done. So now, you guys, let's go attacking. And you guys, uh, are done. And you guys are done. Okay, get to work, folks. Did they, they always um, destroy the pyre. Forever happen to build a, uh, build a new one. All right, so miscellaneous. Pyre. There, there, oh, I'm building that. For my work walk speed, who's unarmed? I don't know why she's not armed. I mean, everybody should be, but she's not, and that's okay at the minute. Oh, bugger me, bugger me. Okay. There we go. And now I'll have something to work on. Okay. So our tailoring is going ahead. And our deconstruction is done over there. So now let's put up the wall, pop a door there. Pompadour almost sounds like Pompadour. Yep, um, having one of those crazy non-related reference kind of days. And the roof. Pop that on. Really need them to make me some bricks. Running out of bricks. Okay, we're getting there. Now, just looking at the time, um, as some of you will be aware, I've been um, battling uh, some rather nasty health problems recently, and um, I have been given very strict orders as to how much time I should be allowing myself to sit at the computer so I would prefer to keep going and finishing you know finishing this off but um, you know I, I gotta listen to, to my doctors and you know they're telling me that sitting here doing this is not helping and I should not do it so yeah apologies for the for the shortness um hopefully this health situation will be resolved soon um uh, but for now 
as we go through yet another auto save. <laughs> um, thank you so much for watching. Thanks for being. Thank you for being patient with me at the moment. Circumstances are beyond my control. Uh, stay slinky, and I will see you in the next video.